Hi guys, Obi Dave here. And I am Ash. Together, we are Obi Dave and I am Ash. Yeah. One of us has just been for a gym induction, all nice and healthy, getting there. The other one has just taken a massive whiff of Camden tablets by mistake. <laughs> I didn't know what you were Which I say think <laughs> are, not your feet, uh, which I think uh, I think it's potassium metabisulfate. It's so dangerous. And it says on the packet, you uh, used because I'm making wine, Using a well ventilated area, do not inhale. And, and I opened a fresh thing of it and went <laughs> like that, and it's disgusting. I can only imagine it's what smelling salts are like. This and is it's why it, you're supposed to waft a smell towards you. I didn't expect it. Like, I just, you know, most things that you use for things don't smell. Most doesn't pills matter, and you like always that. waft. You never just stick your nose in something, especially chemicals. Yeah, so uh, if it seems like I'm a bit weird today, it's that because. I'm, I'm actually a little bit worried about you, to be honest. Nah, I'm all right. You're not supposed to be able to see straight. Things are supposed to be blurry. Uh, right then, as we know, Ren has reached out to the reaction community for a favour. And the thing is, we react to Ren anyway, so he doesn't need to ask the reaction community to react to him because we love reacting to Ren. He's we awesome. Do. But it's over the drama that he's had. I'm sure you will have seen the video and he's explained um, the fact that he was sold a beat on a website that sells beats that for producers and then the guy that had made the beat for the website had nicked a sample off it, I yep. think. Um, and then he's had a back and forth with the guy and the guy's tried to basically... He put a copyright claim in on the song. I think he gave him a strike. I think yeah. he maybe gave him a copyright strike, it's which so is you know, scumbaggery. And uh, I think he's kind of trying to hold the, the track Sick Boy at ransom Pretty by much. saying, give me X amount of money plus royalties in perpetuity or whatever. Which is disgusting. And uh, obviously he got his, uh, Ren got his followers and uh, fans involved and they brutalised the guy, which he deserves. And yeah. then he came back going, oh, your fans are being dead. But me. Ren has said since, don't go and abuse the guy. Like, you know, that's he's not trying to encourage... Um, no, he's not. Bullying. And in fact, let me check my phone because I've just taken a screenshot of Ren's Instagram post about this. Okay. And he explains what he's done with this track. All so right. So I'll be one sec. You hold down the fort. No, just say loads pause. Of things. No, I don't know say what to say. No, for heaven's sake. Hi. <laughs> you can see more of our dining room. There he is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know how to do this. The charm and charisma of a wet carrot. Right then, uh, as many of you... This is from Ren on Instagram, by the way. As many of you are aware, the track Sick Boy has been removed off many streaming platforms due to an ongoing legal dispute over money. Is there any other legal dispute ever than money, really? <sighs> Money's the root of all evil. Due to my principles, I could no longer face more weeks of painful back and forth, so I made the incredibly difficult decision to pull the track myself so that I could stop being used as leverage, so that it could stop being used as leverage. I also reacted to Sick Boy ages ago before I got you on the channel, and I've pulled that reaction as well. And I think any of the reactors out there, it's probably wise if you pull that reaction. Yeah, be careful. This guy because like you're open to copyright strikes as well, just by sharing his track. Um, I wanted to turn this whole situation into a positive, so I decided to make a track fencing the anger and frustration I felt. To get more context, uh, there is a video on my YouTube channel. I put it up last week talking about it. I've watched that. So have I. It's like 35 minutes, I think, and he explains it really well. Really, really well. Pre-warning, this one is on the darker side of my creativity, but I needed an outlet. You can watch the video on my YouTube channel now. Love. Sweet. Let's do it. Yeah? Are yes, you ready for it? I am. I'm ready to see the dark side of Ren, to be fair. I Because yeah. I sway towards darker, more edgy music anyway. He does. I mean, I love Ren, don't get me wrong, but I'm more of a, a metalhead traditionally. Mm. So a dark side of Ren sounds awesome. It does. Anyway, enough waffling on. Let's do it. Ren Cujo Beatdown. Let's do it. Are you ready? I am. Let's do it. Uh -huh. I'm trying to be the 
person who is rightly doing right Who is right there on the righteous path No wrong in words are right But the forces out that test me right I'm trying to find the path And forgive all those who test my will There's trouble in my heart What the fuck you little pussy This ain't high rent number two This ain't pendulums or songs of hope The can't talk from you And the last time we did this The hope did prevail Now the hope is the road That will choke a bitch pale No no just wait Just wait Just wait a sec Cause there's nothing to be gained When you sever the neck I know the art is a part of your heart So you're upset But this hate breeds hate Please Please wait, jeez when I'm getting pretty sick of the sick boy Trying to be the it boy Trying to be the I'm so morally equipped boy Face it, you're mad as fuck, Ren Now let me cut this worm with my razor blade pen <sighs> Fuck it Shit Nice. Hi Cujo, please don't try to struggle, hear me out, see I'm on your side really Well I was, till I found you could get a little greedy, push your luck a little far There's a moral, little Jimmy, of the cookie and the jar See the needy and the greedy, they're just trying to fill a hole So they take and then they take us all the empty in their soul They feel so hard done by, poor little you Wanna take from me, bitch? Then I'll take from you too Right, we've got yes. to pause somewhere. Oh my God, yes. This is on another level, Ren. Like, unbelievable yeah. music, unbelievable rapping. And I absolutely love when he mentions that it's not another high Ren where he's going to his softer side and he's accepting that he's no longer that dark, twisted person. Yeah, because he's, he's, he's taking the alternate path this time. He's, he's gone yeah. for the dark side. And that's it. Whereas that's high it. Ren was trying to battle with the dark side. That's it. Now and, he's encompassing it and, and letting it come out, it. which you need to do sometimes. You do. It is absolutely natural to be angry and it is so healthy to let it out just don't hurt anybody yeah and that's why he's getting the outlet out in his music and his artistry and it's like people writing in the diary or you know angry music yeah. or angry painting and it's just so incredible i think hate breeds hate as he said yeah like hurt people hurt people yeah that phrase we've all heard that we have but at the same time like i'm a big believer in forgiving people that have wronged me doesn't mean i like them no nope. Still, I just don't hate. I sort of nothing people when you get to a certain yeah. point. You're just nothing. But you've got to forgive people for yourself sometimes. It is. Because you can't hold on to that. And this was something I had to learn growing up. Like my dad always said, forgive but don't forget. Yeah. And I misinterpret it when I was young as that you forgive, but you're still friends with the person, but you don't forget and you're always wary of them. It's like, no, you cross the line. I'm going to forgive you for my own uh, yeah, set, for like, your own healthy, well-being. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I will never forget. And if you try and come back, sorry, love. Yeah, there's people I've forgiven years ago for things they've done to me. Don't want them in my life. No, exactly. You get fucked, but you know, I hold no ill will. But yeah, loving this. When the choir vocals came in, oh, and they just strobed sick. once and they're all stood behind. So sick. What a cool effect as so well. So sick. You said you like it rough I thought you said she liked it rough But you're a bitch man What the fuck I'm confused by this dynamic Like it's Bonnie and it's Clyde But the killing you're committing Is career suicide Well guys You probably think that this is extreme I won't lie Maybe just a little bit mean You know I Feel a little bad about it really Nah I'm only messing lad I love to spank the greedy Fam I hope you wake up sweating From your nightmares See me I'm the sick boy That you enslave free me oh, When you fuck man. with my work You might as well bleed me I put my whole soul in to my words legally Now a little thief want beef want steal from me That's how little thief lose teeth You meal to me On the subject matter You a part of the scenery This is how the sick boy work You feeling me? Con, I'm sick with the pen I went easy on the daughter He's a friend at Zen But if I ever hear your mouth Speak the name of Ren Out in public Then it's public You don't want that again And no warning for your bitch Of a girlfriend too Miss is nice behind the scenes Poor Cujo boo -hoo. If I ever read another fucking comment from you Then this is only part one. It's even worse than part two. <laughs> <laughs> That's a warning, isn't it? That is an absolute warning. That is fucking sick. Yes! 
I love the editing on that video. That is absolutely... For creative purposes, any issues I'll have with dealt on a personal basis, I, I do, do not, not concern condone. abuse. That's taking the moral high ground, saying that at the end. 100%. I, like that. Yeah, I absolutely fan. love that. That was unbelievable. I still don't appreciate when he uses the, the animal masks. And no. <laughs> the, the pig freaked me out again. But that was magnificent. I really appreciated like the message as well of all the dead choir around them. And it's like, he's talking about how it's career suicide. And <laughs> talking to the girlfriend. If I see another comment from you, there's going to be a part two. <laughs> I didn't know that the girlfriend was involved no. in this situation. So she's obviously been commenting, maybe Going, trying to do damage limitation. She said, like, or, oh, boo yeah. hoo, poor Cujo. He showed, in that video, he showed the, the sort of messages back and forth. And the guy was being all right with him at first. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's all... It's Underhanded. All in this day and age where it's really easy to uh, show your receipts for that sort of thing and you can just be like look at all the messages yeah. this is what happened this is the copyright strike this is everything that yeah. was said and it, yeah I mean you just can't get away with it nope Especially didn't give like, him warning as well like if he changed his mind about the music he could have contacted Ren on a completely professional basis and said look I didn't realise how big this track was and how much of a difference it's made you by you using it I would like to ask if we can, you know, readjust and maybe I get a few royalties for it. Not fucking being a prick about it. The and Ren would have probably gone, do you know what, man? I think he yeah. did. I think he offered him something. Well, there you go. But the, um, I think it was when he said, I want a percentage of the track, otherwise I'm taking it forever. That's in perpetuity. It is in perpetuity. That's like, whereas if you sell a beat on a website that sells it to artists, you probably get a flat fee for the use of that beat. Yeah. But if you get... 50% royalties of Sick Boy in perpetuity, you're potentially getting paid for the rest of your life and it's taking it's the disgusting. piss. Disgusting. Especially when Ren bought the track Two from years. a website yeah. where there are terms and conditions. I'm still a bit muddy about the, it's like the Romanian orchestra sample or something. That's what the copyright claim was. Right. I think that's what Cujo had nicked and didn't have cleared. Allegedly, I don't know. I'm just, this is what I thought happened. But it's an, it is probably a very great area. It's like us reacting, isn't it? It's like we're taking someone else's clips. And it, and it's happened before, hasn't it? It's where it's somebody else's clipped it from someone who doesn't want it shared. Yeah. And then they've shared their own version of it. And then that they someone's reacted to yeah, it. Yeah. And then that's the one that's been that's the where That's where we had issues at the Office Books a few times where people had re-uploaded someone else's content that wasn't on YouTube yeah. and then... You know, but absolute banger. Don't get on the wrong side of Ren. No. It's pretty obvious at this point, isn't it? He's Love a softie, the video. you know he is. He just needed to let it out. But I think behind you, Ren, 100%. To do that in a very short space of time as well, to mm. record the video, write the song, cool. everything, get it all done and get it out, that's some work ethic as well. He, he's a dude. But he's I think absolute dude. he probably, a lot of his work it seems like comes out of negativity a little bit yeah you know where all the illness kind of spurred him to work hard on music this may have just motivated him more to make something quicker to oh, work harder yeah like yeah. Adver adversity is probably the word i was looking for like adversity breeds the better well emotion does as well it's like i know everyone takes the mick out of taylor swift but she has produced the most number of songs and high hitting songs and like it's just unbelievable that the shit she churns out and it's a lot of it the is to do with... shit she turns out, you're right. Oh, my God. Uh, you know what I mean, what I'm getting at is she has an incredible work ethic and even my dad says it. Like, do you know who else does that, who? You're, that you don't like? Ed Sheeran. I don't like Ed Sheeran. But if you use the Taylor Swift example on me, I'll use the Ed Sheeran one All on right, you. it's true. He writes a song every day of his life. It's fair. A whole song. It's fair, it's very good work ethic. Yeah. You know who's the best musical Ed Sheeran's artist. well better. No, do you know who is the best? Who? Miley Cyrus. <laughs> I'm not here to start talking shit about people. We're here for Ren to support Ren. We are, 100%. Uh, yeah. What an unbelievable video. Absolutely. Seriously. And it's, it's worth saying Ren has always been great to the reaction community. Um, you ever get any sort of copyright claim or whatever, you know, you express that it's a reaction video, um, you know, under fair use and you're adding commentary and all that sort of stuff. And they always get released to us. Absolutely. And we appreciate you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Yeah. You don't have to do that. A lot of artists do revenue yeah. sharing or they take all the revenue. Exactly. And I think Ren shows how much of a forward thinking 
person he is who kind of understands the game to be fair well, he even says like by other people reacting to his music he's getting it to a wider audience yeah. people that wouldn't have thought to watch him or even heard of him he used the phrase uh, a rising tide raises all ships in yeah. that video and it's it's exactly right in this day and absolutely. age absolutely yeah right then I hope you guys enjoyed it too I'm going to jump on and edit this right now so we can get it out as soon as possible hell yeah uh, make sure you like and subscribe. We've got loads of REM reactions on the channel. If you're new to the channel, go and find them. Definitely. And we'll, uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Bye, guys.